Hey guys, Winston at Carbide3D here. Since it's, as George calls it, Catterday, I figured I'd put together a brief overview of a Libre Atom 3D, a fully parametric CAD program that we happen to be including for free with every machine purchase for the duration of the Carbide3D Black Friday 2019 sale. Atom 3D is a Libre's intro-level CAD offering that's standalone, parametric, perpetually licensed, allows you to model both parts and assemblies, as well as make drawings. That means it works offline, isn't in a browser, has no recurring subscription fee, and has all the features you need to design some fairly complex parts. You've got basic sketching tools, modeling tools like extrudes, sweep, revolves, cuts, patterning tools, and more. You can use Atom 3D to visualize your designs, work through problems virtually, and then export STL files or DXFs for manufacturing. If you've ever used SolidWorks or Creo, you'll find the interface design to be pretty in line with what you'd expect from any other CAD program. Now, since Alibre actually has a fair amount of documentation and training materials online, even in PDF form if that's your jam, I'm not going to do a long, boring tutorial, especially because I've clocked less than an hour with Atom 3D, and I admittedly haven't gone through any of the tutorials myself. But I'll still model something easy as an example, just to demonstrate some of the features at your disposal, and how similar Atom 3D is to CAD programs you might already be familiar with. Let's make a mug, which is a simple enough everyday item that I can just make up the dimensions for it as I go along. I'm going to start by drawing the cross-sectional profile for half a cylinder. I'll also add a little bit of a concave at the bottom, and then I'm going to clean up the sketch and trim off any extraneous vectors since they can cause issues later. I could also hollow out this cylinder now, but I think it's easier to start with a big block of material and then remove some of it later. As you can tell, my brain is biased towards thinking subtractively. I'll close out the sketching environment and apply a revolve around the y-axis. Next, I'll draw a sketch on top of the cylinder's face that'll extrude downward to create the... the drink hole. Brain is not working right now. I'll take the opportunity to apply some fillets to make this look actually comfortable to drink from, and then move on to drawing a handle. This is going to be done with a sweep, so I need a profile and a path. First up, the profile. I'm going to create a construction plane near the outer edge of the mug, but still somewhat within the wall of the cup. On this plane, I'll draw an ellipse. Then on a perpendicular plane, I'll draw a spline to represent the shape of the handle. This is the path we will sweep our handle profile along. As you can see, because of how my handle profile was offset from my path, the handle actually extends into the body of the mug. Now, my first thought to address this was to create another extrude to hollow out the beverage cavity again, but because Atom 3D is parametric and history-based, I can actually drag my mug handle feature, defining sketches and all, ahead of when I hollowed out my mug like a time traveler. Since I eyeballed my handle position and didn't reference any other geometry, it's not linked to any other features. So that handle can exist by itself at any point in the design history. So if it existed, say, before my big extruded cut was made, then it will be affected just like the rest of the model. Boom, no more handle inside the mug. I'm not saying this is a good way to design a part, I'm pretty sure my old CAD professor would be screaming at me right now if he could, but it does show the power and flexibility of having a parametric workflow. Bottom line, a Libre Atom 3D has the feature set to give you a proper parametric experience. It's not as complete as some of the other software packages out there, but it is a great start. So for anyone who's bought or is buying a machine during our blackest of Black Friday sales, or is interested in a non-subscription-based parametric CAD software, play around with Atom 3D and let us know what you think. Until next time, good luck and have fun machining, folks.